Irma. Today I wanted to take you on a very special journey. I'm working on the renovation of my powder bathroom and I wanted to share with you the exact process I used to make this area of my home a special jewel box. Now whenever I work on a powder bathroom, there are anywhere from three to five signature touches that I put on every project that I work on. Today, I wanted to share those pieces with you so you can learn how to incorporate these really marvelous designer touches in your powder bathroom space. The first thing that I love to look for when I'm working on a powder bathroom is a very unique vanity. This is a great place to really start with the wow statement. This could be as simple as incorporating an antique vanity or just simply adding a few appliques on a very simple powder bathroom vanity door. Now, of course, if you follow me, you know I love painted finishes. And this is a great place to really go wild and bring in multiple colors whenever you're working on a powder bathroom vanity. The next thing that I love to do is add two different layers of very beautiful lighting. The first thing I love to look for are some very unique sconces to add into a powder bathroom. Now this could be modern, traditional, or antique, but this is a great way to bring in some very beautiful side lighting into your space. The next thing I love to look for is a very beautiful chandelier. Now I know you might be thinking this seems highly excessive, but that's what a powder bathroom is all about. It's so small and this great contained space that you can really go all out with your designer finishes. The next thing I love to use is a really stunning one of a kind mirror. Now this could be something really simple or something very decadent. It all depends on how complicated your other finishes are. But I love looking for a standalone, unusual, one of a kind mirror that I can hang into the space and really create that extra layer of beauty. The next place I love to focus on is the wall space within the powder bathroom. Now this is a place where you can really go wild and let your imagination run free. Some of my favorite finishes include plaster finishes, hand painted finishes, stenciling, and wallpaper. Because the space is so small, again, you can really embrace your true design passions and express them in this beautiful jewel box area. Now here you can see the before of my powder bathroom. As you can see, pretty much anything would have been an improvement from the before. I made a few construction finishes to the space, as you can see here. Once we got past that part and started working with the clean slate, I followed the exact formula I just shared with you. Here you can see this antique vanity or antique cabinet that we're turning into our powder bathroom vanity. I measured out my space and carefully selected sconces to flag either side of this really beautiful antique mirror. And of course, no space would be complete without a beautiful chandelier. And here you can see the beautiful piece that I found to go with all of these gorgeous colors that I'm working with. Now this is a project that I'm currently working on, so stay tuned for the big reveal where I'll share the after with you shortly. So what do you think? Do you think this is a project that you're ready to tackle? Leave a comment and let us know. We love hearing about your projects. Did you like this video? If so, be sure to share it with a friend today. And then when you're done, head over to our website where you can sign up to receive more free amazing design tips. Till the next time we meet, keep making your home special with your design gifts might mean multiple creamware platters or multiple vintage breadboards.